Texas, it has emerged. The scheme, uh, trialed by land uh, by Leicester Leicestershire Police, um, is now being considered in at least five other countries after it was said to have had no impact on crime rates or public satisfaction. The three-month money-saving pilot was designed to assess the effectiveness of how the force deploys forensic officers to potential crime scenes. It follows the admittance uh, by Sarah Thompson, the head of the National Police Chief's Council, uh, that the public should no longer expect police officers to turn up at their door if they are burgled. Um, is, is that all? Th- is there more to this than just So th- are they basically saying we did this as a test because we don't want to investigate any burglars? Burglaries? kind of sounds like it. Burg- but for like for even theft? numbered <laughs> homes. Yeah, that's weird. That is very weird. So it's just like I don't I don't get it, I guess. Yeah, I don't get it either. So wait, so if that's that, being advertised, then people who are burglars will just go after odd numbered homes from here on out. You're safe. No one's gonna investigate. Hmm? Wait, so Is that is that what it is? I don't understand this. Wait, it's just I that didn't. cops are not investigating odd number homes. That's Who really... brought this one? Yeah, I didn't. I don't know. It's Nathan. Nathan, Nathan, explain what the heck is going on. Nathan doesn't know. It seemed more interesting when I read it. <laughs> All right, so uh, that's out of the 404. See you later. Uh, uh, we got any more? Uh, that did seem interesting when I didn't read it. Um, let's go to another one. It's okay. We can have two. It's fine. Uh, w- w- another one? this one's coming from W O W T dot com. Yeah. Uh, this is more local news. This is Arizona man using propane torch on spiders suspected of starting mobile home fire. <laughs> He's su- suspected. This is this is only only local in the website. Well, it's the, the website is yeah. Because yeah, this was this was in Arizona. A man using a propane torch to kill Some spiders and burn spider webs on. underneath his mobile home is suspected of starting a blaze that forced him and an elderly woman out of their Tucson, Arizona home Sunday night. Uh, Tucson Fire responded to a 911 call around 9:19 p.m. reporting smoke and flames coming from a mobile home in the 4,000 block of a neighborhood when firefighters arrived they said that an elderly woman had been carried out of the burning home by her sons and neighbors the woman suffered minor injuries sustained from being carried out no other injuries were reported it took 23 firefighters 11 minutes to put out the fire the cause of the fire is still under investigation although fire officials say they suspect that the fire was started by the use of propane torch to burn them piters uh, the Red Cross is assisting the two residents who were displaced by the fire. The estimated damage has not yet been determined. Huh. Well, that's a scary one. You know, you don't want to start a fire. Yeah, you got to kill those spiders, though. But it's, I mean, you hear this a lot about people trying to kill insects with, specifically spiders, with guns yeah. and... Uh, other terrible things. So why why would you do that? What's wrong with a good old fashioned shoe? Uh, do we have any suggestions in the chat for this one? Or <laughs> Crazy is... Licks just said Arachnoflamia. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> That's actually. good. Uh, I, think, um, I think he may have just won by default. He also said the the Propaniac. Yeah, but I like Arachnoflamia. Arachnoflamia better. was better. Yeah. Uh, all right. So let's check out. Uh, let's go ahead and put those on. Uh, sorry, we're having some major internet issues here, so s- some people are losing us in the chat. Uh, oh no! Twi- we have Twitch is having issues too, though, because it says there's zero views for the entire show. That's because we have no upload speed. <laughs> uh, there's uh, but anyways, um, the go ahead and get on that poll. If you're listening or watching later, you can still vote on this poll. Yes. Uh, pick out your favorite one. Uh, should we do? Let's go to the mailbag. Let's see what's what people sent us this week. Got something on your mind? I didn't know where to turn. Send us an email, message, or a call. You got mail. Oh boy, you have got mail. Any word on if we're back for the to the internet people? Or are we still having struggles here, Kuipers? Can you give give me an update on this? 
Um, go ahead. We keep go bouncing between like zero kilobytes per second and maybe double digits. So we're not on the internet right now. Basically, like we're yeah we're having okay. big problems. Uh, all right. Well, let's just continue the show. I, I did pulled... reboot the modem and the routers before the show. Yeah. Um, we'll have to talk figure this out later. Uh, if we'll just keep going for the audio, which catches us on YouTube. If you missed it, uh, we got one email. I think. Do we get a voicemail? No. No, just an email. No voice. Uh, this email comes in from Rahul, uh, which it's interesting because I, I reading this email, it, it seems to be from a female's perspective. Rahul uh, is. But do you know where Rahul is? I from? don't know. So it is. It is a male name. I looked it up. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a male name. So I don't know if, if this is someone using his email. I don't know what's going on here. Someone trying to make make. I don't make know. Funnies. This is this is a really long email though, and it seems pretty serious. So it does seem we'll serious. Uh, we'll cut, try to address it the best of our abilities, which we're not. You know, we're not licensed. So please don't take any. And I have a driver's license. I mean, sure, we're driver's license. Uh, but just you know, this is if you need professional help, go do that. Don't listen to us. Uh, this is a really long email that I'm not going to read at all. I'm not even going to probably read any of it. I'm just going to kind of give you a quick synopsis. Uh, the What it looks like is um, this lady is living with her fiancé, uh, and he stumbled across a stash of photos uh, that she had uh, in her possession uh, that were compromising, to say the least. Uh, she was maybe engaged in some activities, uh, that were photographed, detailed activities when she was younger and with with an X with an X and he finds her current, um, her current, uh, fiance found these photos and is, was kind of upset about it. Uh, he was maybe a little jealous. Uh, he, you know, he thought that there were things she did to this other person that he would like done to him, and that maybe she yeah, didn't love him. That he was him. disappointed that she hadn't done. Yeah, that, and she didn't love him as much or whatever. Uh, and she kind of goes on to explain that, you know, she was in kind of a, maybe not a great place when she was younger, and she grew up in a very strict household, and this caused her to have some issues, uh, and then that maybe she was just looking for attention and affection from her ex in the wrong ways. And she was doing things she was not actually comfortable with doing, uh, but didn't realize it at the time. Yeah. I mean, at the time she thought it was more like, she just thought she was making this person happy. Right. Really. She was just seeking, um, affection from him. Uh, so anyways, that's kind of surmises it. She, her main question coming into us is, you know, is I don't. She doesn't want to come off as, a, a, you know, a, a bad uh, fiance to her current love interest, and I think she probably wants this to work out. She's wondering how to ex- explain to him. Yeah, this isn't didn't have anything to do with who this guy was. It doesn't have anything to do with who you are. Well, I'm in a different place, different time, kind of thing. Right. Uh. So I, I don't. I mean, I don't have a lot to add to this. I just. I, I mean, I, I, if it, I'll take let you guys go i just think that i mean what you sent in to us explain to him just explain to him that this was not uh this was not what it looks like i mean that's going to be hard because right. there's photographs uh but maybe try to explain the, the things you are not uncomfortable with because I, I mean you should be okay to tell someone no when it comes to certain things that you are unwilling to do mm-hmm. uh and that person should be okay with that uh, or you are with the wrong person. Right. Uh, that's what I'm going to add. Be patient. Sometimes I think, I mean, a thing like this, there's a lot of, a lot of heat that can come from it and a lot of rage and or jealousy or a lot of other emotions. Mm-hmm. So, he, yeah. I, I will also add, I don't, I don't recall you mentioning this. Uh, her, f- her current fiance also feels that she purposefully held on to these photos. Oh, that's true. When Sorry. in right. fact she didn't realize she had them. Right. Well, she says that. Yeah. Uh, well, she's from what the she one tells to us, said, she did not realize she yeah. had them. Yeah, if we're, we're taking it. We're going to take her word for it, whatever that might be. Yeah. Uh, but that's. I mean, if that's the case, I would say maybe have a burning party. Uh, and dispose of them um, yeah, in front that. of him, or you know, as almost like a display of your commitment. That's and say, good. You know, like this is not 
this is this was I didn't know I had these. I'm sorry. Like, you know, try to make sure there's no. This doesn't look like you are trying to uh, hold on to these memories in any way for a good reason. Yeah, I mean, if if nothing else, I mean, it's part of that danger of the the fact that if you do take photographs and videos like that that can be something that Expect really can, they're gonna get out yeah it's Which gonna the, get out well this is um, but this is a little different because this is like physical photographs sure, is the way i but, took it so it's like it's not like sure they were but i mean it, on it's, the internet it's still i mean it's it's the same thing like if i mean unless you actually destroy the physical evidence um that's something that literally can can come back to bite you in yeah. in a way like this um, which I'm guessing that part of the reason that they they said that they didn't know that they still had them is because they literally didn't even want to take them in the first place because yeah. it was something that they felt pressured into. Um, and I, I mean, I agree. Like you said, it's something that if you are in that type of a situation um, or, or were... Like that's that's the big thing to explain to the person that you are uh, with now. That that's something that was not something that you wanted to do, and you literally were only doing that because you thought that was the only thing that you could do. Yeah, to get affection from this person. Uh, and I mean, when you're, and it sounds like she was pretty young when this was happening. So a lot of those emotions and thing, the reasons you do. Uh, things are it's fueled by other for other reasons that people don't always understand at that time when they're at that age um hormonal right things uh but hopefully we helped a little bit i don't know that we have a lot more to add to this but if you know seek counseling if necessary if you'd want to keep the if the relationship seems like it's at that point where it's it's teetering maybe uh find a counselor that could talk you guys through it and make sure you're both on the same page uh, cause the green monster of jealousy can tear apart a relationship pretty yeah. quick. Uh, Kuipers, you got anything to add in 10, 10 words or less? 140 no. characters. Okay, <laughs> good. That was 10 words that, or less. That was 10 words Qualified. or less. Well done. I would let that through my express lane in the shopping mart. <laughs> yes, that's yep. good. Uh, right, or fewer, uh, 10 words or fewer. Trevor's not here to correct us. <laughs> Um, that does it for this show. So this is the part of the show where I'd like to thank our Patreon peeps. Yes. Uh, these are the people that make this show very possible. It makes us happy when you donate to us because it makes us feel like we're special and we're worth yeah. investing our time and effort into this project. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much to all our Patreon peeps, but especially these that you see in shining Patreon coral. These are our co-producers at the $10 level or higher. If you would like to be involved or a supporter of this show, go to patreon.com slash men in a tub and we, too, would greatly appreciate your support. Uh, I yeah. think that about does it for us we, tonight. We have a couple announcements, or what? Yeah, we have announcements? No, I don't know. You were oh, going like... Well, I right? was going to say, we are very close to Extra Life. That's an um, announcement. That is an announcement. Our housekeeper. Or, or housekeeping. Or there uh, we go. a thing to say. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, that's so up. that is two weeks from tomorrow... Um, so that is going to be something that you don't want to miss. Um, and it, it's going to be something to help kids at, uh, our, our local children's hospital. So, um, money to a good cause, money to a good cause. Doesn't even go through our fingers or right. our bank accounts. We don't touch it. We don't well, see it. They can even, they can do the sign up themselves and, and have people donate to them, but it applies towards our Right, you can raise money. Well, they can for join our, our team. Yeah, they team. can join the team. That's what um, that is. But we will be doing the streaming for the twenty-four hours. Um, so that is that is exciting, and we are we are excited to be. We got some fun things planned. I think. Um, yeah, and we're we're are started to be planned. Yeah. I guess. Listen to Lunchcast if you want to hear more behind the scenes on what we're planning to do for that. Uh, you can get that every Monday at patreoncom slash in a tub for the five dollars or more level. Um, but yeah, there, keep your ears and eyes peeled for that, and hopefully, lots more. We'll be back next week on Wednesday with the loop. That's the, the, sh- loop. the video game. That's a show, talk show about video games. Yeah. Uh, and then this is always Thursday nights, and hopefully, we have better internet next time. But thanks for sticking out with us or watching the archive or being on iTunes. Good night, everybody. Yeah. 
you you jumped you jumped me. I didn't start it on time. Oh, I was just, I was I was waiting. I was delayed I as long I as I could, Kyle. I wasn't, I'm sorry. I wasn't ready. I'm sorry. Crazy said something in the chat. Baby driver's license, and I don't know what that was in reference to, and that distracted me. Oh, I all apologize. right, everybody. See ya later. Good night.